G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. I'm out with the DD Bergen. I uh, gave you a quick look at this quite a few months ago now. And this is the first actual opportunity with scheduling that I'm able to start testing this one on distance for comfort. Today's walk is going to be uh, over 10.6 kilometers and it's going to be on this dirt and gravel track or four wheel drive track for the loggers to get in up, down, up, down, slippy, rocky, gravel so it's going to be a, a test I'm carrying about 12 kilos in it to see how comfortable that really is so there's nothing specific, it's not set up for a day out or a night out it's got a first aid kit in, that's the only essentials in there but I've just thrown heavier stuff in there, a couple of tents uh, under quilts, ponchos, just to fit it out and put some weight there and find out how it actually feels so far I've done about two kilometers and it's feeling okay I can already say that the ventilation on the back of it, it isn't the best. It's like a, for a winter one, I think it'd be good because it's, it's not much space uh, behind it to let the uh, fresh air or the cool air through. So on a cold day, it's going to be able to keep you warm. So that's a bonus. So yeah, this is for the cooler weather, I reckon cooler, wetter weather. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that behind. It's where they used to mine all the old stone and that. The original ramp to this was just up, uh, just up there. But recently they Deconstructed it and took it all down. A bit, bit unsafe, they said. It's a shame because there's a nice bit of history. I think it was just down to some people climbing on it, hurting themselves who knew they shouldn't be there but they didn't care. Uh, to, to me, it's their own fault. It's a shame. Beautiful little spot up there. The, the old mine. Few little points where you can hide away and just relax. So, so far, like I said, I'm just over two kilometers in. I've ad adjusted the shoulder straps a couple of times, and I'll do it again now, because this pack is carrying the weight pretty well on the hip belt. That's better. Yeah, it's carrying it pretty well on the hip belt. To adjust the hip belt, I've noticed that you have to keep stopping, undoing it, adjusting it, plugging it back in, and carrying on. Because when I walk, my stomach, which I wish would do all the time, actually goes in, so the belt becomes looser. Well, the belt doesn't loosen, it just becomes looser on me. So I've got to keep adjusting as I walk. Actually now I've just adjusted the shoulder straps now in the pack to move a bit and I can feel the cool air coming through. Padding on the back so far. Everything I've got inside I can't feel it pushing through the uh, padding. So that's good up to now.
Well, I've done over 12 kilometers with this backpack. The car is about 500, 600 meters that way. Final thoughts for today. I don't have any hot spots. I'm not sore anywhere. I'm not hurting or aching anywhere from the pack. I said I got just over 12 kilos in it. I will do another video when I do a longer walk and if I'm going to use it for a longer multi-day walk so I'm going to be carrying a little bit more weight so I'll let you know how that goes yeah I've enjoyed it, it it's done really well for a pack at how it's priced it is a very good pack. Even like I said, I, I don't like the idea about the Velcro on the pouches. But up to now, this has been really, really good. I've got to add this little bit in. Um, back out, same day as doing the just over 12k with the backpack on. And I've come to Manning Park, and it's over five kilometres in length. Uh, the day's warmed up a bit, as you can see, I've got the pack on, and that hill come down there is a bit steep, so sorry I was just looking at the, the camera so I could see where the hill was when I was pointing. Uh, this is a track I've been looking at doing for a while, and here I am now, so by the time I finish this track, I'll add another bit in after this. Or oh, at the at the end, 500 meters away from the car now. No issues with this backpack. Still comfortable. I haven't had to adjust it in any way since I've been walking this afternoon. So up to now, it's good. So. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you're not already a subscriber go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to that and select all so you can be notified of all future videos and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much